Okay, hey everybody. Chance number two. I was uh, recording this video. Well, I thought I was recording this video, but it turns out I didn't hit the record button yet. <laughs> there you go. What can I say? It's 11 o'clock at night. Okay, for, this is going to be an unbagging from what I got at Spin Street, Spin Street Music, or Spin Street here in oh, in Memphis. I live in Fayette County, so this is Memphis, so there you go. Uh, and this is also going to be Q and A 26, so this video is probably going to be kind of long, but you know what, whatever. I'm going to be this is going to be Q and A 26 from Adam Bush. Adam Bush is the person who asked the questions. And the first thing I got from Spin Street is uh, Shooter James and her him him offense. Black ribbon, black ribbons. I've heard stuff. I've heard a few tracks of this on uh, Spotify. See, uh, see, how my fact. Black ribbons. I'm still getting used to <laughs> the whole when you mow this thing it goes the other way, but whatever. Okay, then we got, I got Sling Blade, mm -hmm. I like them there fresh fried taters, mm -hmm. I do plan on doing uh, reviews of all that stuff too, so, hang on. Then I got Pearl Jam's 20, Pearl Jam 20, PJ, Pearl Jam 20, documentary. Because as y'all know, I like, doing, I like documentaries. Then we got, y'all seen the t-shirt. I was going to wear it, but, well, um, forgot to. Hang on. Pearl Jam, I mean, The Big Lebowski. The Dude Bites. And finally, from Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling, or FMW, I got... Uh, crash and burn. This is the only Jap. This is pretty much my favorite Japanese uh Japanese uh wrestling company, which I know is now defunct. I think, which means it ain't been in a long. Anyway, uh, well, I plan on documenting it because well, this is on Japanese wrestling company. I know. Honestly. I know IWGP. In, in New Japan, but whatever. But this is the only one I really know anything about because I have a few couple, few DVDs. I think this is where Captain Jack won his King of the Dead match in a minute. I think. Anyway, I'll look that up, but whatever. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, anyway, sir. Crash and burn. And that, that was the bag. Okay, now on to the questions from Adam Bush. Okay, Adam Bush asks, Would you rather stick your hand in a beehive or go two rounds with Brock Lesnar? I'd go two rounds with Brock Lesnar because, well, when I get my butt kicked, I could at least say I got in the octagon with an ultimate fighter. I mean, hey, I could get a lucky shot in and knock him out. There is what's called the puncher's chance. Now I now now he takes me down and completely screwed. But hey, I'm not a guy who's I'm not a swing guy. I'm more of a grapple guy. But hey, I probably get, if I if I'm getting whipped, I'll, I'll throw on. Him, I'll try. And hey, while I'm healing in the uh, hospital, I can brag and say, hey, I got in the octagon. How you gonna brag about sticking your hand into some uh be into a beehive? That your, your friends are just gonna think you're a friggin' idiot. There you go. Okay. Question number two. Oh, Schwarzenegger punches in your door. Tells you to get in the chopper. What you do? Well, first, I freak out. Cause it's all get down. I. Then I go with him, cause, well, I go. Then I get in the friggin' chopper, cause, well, it's all friggin' Schwarzenegger. I do it now. Sorry, I had to go on. Had to go R a little bit, you know. 
Okay, question number three. We got, if I gave you $30, would you put a Batman costume on, go around the wolf, go around to the Wolf Chase Mall and shout at people in the Batman voice, I swear, swear to me, is Bat, where, and where is she? No, I would not, honestly, because 30 bucks, dude, no, that ain't worth my, <laughs> 30 bucks, seriously, just 30 bucks, <laughs> you'd have to drastically uh, increase it, I'm talking a lot more money than that, uh, had to be at least a grand, maybe more, and more, more likely more, three grand, a lot of more money. Alright. That's all I gotta say about that one. Okay, question number four. Are ghetto women more violent than ghetto men? Well, depend. Well, from, I saw something a few weeks ago. A football, this football coach got caught, got accused of abusing this elementary football player, and his mom beat them beat the brakes off him with a baseball bat and, he, and the dude said I'm sorry and then he didn't and that he didn't do it and then her saying which uh her saying if you didn't do it well you're sorry which honestly every time I hear her say that kind of made me laugh you know if you're sorry if you're sorry why do you do that why are you why, if you didn't do it while you're sorry that just made me laugh anyway I gotta say, yes, they are more violent. I mean, cause, but <laughs> I've heard a more. That I'm not saying. I'm just going by what I hear on the news. It seems to be more uh, women beaten. I'm just going. I'm just going by what I hear on the Memphis news. Okay, just saying. Okay. Okay, question number five. If I submitted you 100 questions, would you answer them all in one video? Probably. It just depends. Yeah, pretty much. Now, some of them might be, some of them might have short answers, some might have long, but hey, I do my best to answer them. So, hey, Adam, submit all you want. You know? Okay. Question number six. Five fear and death punch. Thumbs up, thumbs or thumbs down. Thumbs up. I got I got well I got basically Okay, yeah, I got uh war is the answer, so I like I like this city, so I gotta give them thumbs up. Okay, question number seven. Would you make a good, would you make a better pimp, drug dealer, or pimp? Well, babies, i make a good pimp. Cause, well, I just go to see what was on the baby. Yes. Go get my money. I just go, I go pimp. Okay. Question number eight. What's more terrifying, possessed transsexual serial killers with superhuman strength or Nazi vampire zombie or Nazi zombie werewolf vampires. I'll go Nazi vamp I'll go Nazi zombie werewolf vampires. Why just does. Question number nine how you wake up and you find yourself in the same in the same plot as the movie Inse Inception? How do you react? Never seen the movie. Can't answer that. I don't know what the I don't know what the plot is. Uh, and finally, question number ten. Okay, this video ain't gonna be that long. Turns out, <coughs> sorry. If a woman is possessed with a demon, by a demon, is it okay to beat the demon out of her with a frying pan? Uh, no, it's not, cause you. you Frying pans versus supernatural. Probably a bad idea. She'd probably jack you up. 
And I'd go get my preacher and go get some friggin' holy water. I'm just saying. Okay. If oh, Adam, I hope I answered your questions. Send more, please. And uh, okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, if you have any more, if you have any more, if you or anybody else has any more questions, message me on YouTube or comment on YouTube. And if you are seeing this on YouTube, by all means, please subscribe. And uh, send me video responses too. Oh, really? And if you're not seeing on Facebook. Message me or comment, and I'll get them. I think I'll get them. I don't say I have not get, gotten one comment, but whatever. If you if you have seen these, message me. Um, if you have seen these and uh, message me, I mean comment it, and I didn't get them. Message me because I'm sorry because I didn't see it. Maybe it's only a message, but yeah, whatever. Anyway. And the third way you can is email me at lancemosstv at gmail.com. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.